Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to a room of Zanzibar vlogs. It's been a while and um, I just planned last night as I went to bed and I'm like, you know what, let me start vlogging again. So it's 6 a.m. this morning and I've just dropped my son to school. He does uh, trekking, so we leave very early. I left the house at 6.50, so I woke Alicia up. And uh, while she's getting ready, now I'm going home. And I just thought, let me take a minute and uh, vlog because uh, it's dark. And um, and uh, the car that I'm driving, I'm driving my husband's car. It's got a lot of noise, so I can't vlog while I'm driving, even though there's no traffic. But uh, the noise, I don't know if you guys can hear me. So what I think I'm going to do is... Um, I'm going to do my day today while I update you what has been happening the last one year. Exactly, actually more than one year uh, that I had uh, stopped blogging. It was not intentionally, but uh, life happens. A lot of things happened. Alhamdulillah, we're doing okay. So I am going to pause here till when I get home and then I will continue. All right, so I'm home now. I decided to put the light in the car so that at least you can see me. So I'm going to say my prayers uh, before the sun rises and maybe read a couple of pages of Quran if I can get a chance because my mornings are so unpredictable because um, Alicia is up, she's getting ready, and um, we leave at 7.50. I leave the house at 7.50 with her, then I come back. And I take a dealer at 8.30. So my mornings are so unpredictable. And it's a mo Monday morning after the Eid uh, weekend. And uh, normally before the Ramadan, I used to go for a walk. After I finish fasting for my shawal, I will resume um, my walks again, inshallah. So I will keep you guys updated. And... Um, I'm glad I'm back. Alhamdulillah. I'm excited to share some, I don't know, my day to day. Uh, we might be doing some cooking, not necessarily specific recipes because um, I've shared most of my recipes. It's just the idea. If there is a new recipe, then I will do a proper, but otherwise I'll just mention what I'm doing. I got a lot to do. I got a lot to do. I got a lot to pack. Basically, all the eat things, the plates, the glasses need to be packed and kept in the storage. And some of the things are really old because when I left, I I really didn't sell. I mean, furniture, yes, I sold when I went to Oman. But uh, some of my, you know, like cake stand, uh, some of the things that I thought I knew that I wouldn't get them again, I kept them. And uh, so I may seem that like I have a lot, but most of it, it's uh, it's old, it's old stuff. I'm still um, getting back to life. Alhamdulillah, we've come a long way. We've come a long way. And I'll keep you guys updated. And uh, yeah, see you later. Alligator. After a while, crocodile. So it's so beautiful out here. And uh, the weather is so amazing, so amazing. We had a beautiful weather in Ramadan, and I need to get a microphone since I have decided to vlog. Uh, the sun is about to rise, and uh, yeah, so I'll talk to you later. I'm back again. Now the kids have gone to school, and uh, by the way, I've went into Amazon, and I've already ordered myself a microphone, so that way you can hear me better. And um, so what I normally do in the morning, since it's, uh, I just wake up like five in the morning, I really don't do much uh, to my face. Yeah, I use this. This is a all purpose. It's um, deep cleansing, softening, moisturizing. I've been using this for years. Uh, even the days that when I really don't have a face cream, I use this it's at night. I use this one. So when I'm done, you know, with all the running arounds in the morning, I just come and I just cleanse because this is works as a cleanser as well as moisturizing. So I'm just like removing whatever I have, especially sometimes when I don't take my makeup well at night, like this, 
this shouldn't happen okay but I was tired you know with the aid I'm just gonna remove all that and then I use this as my this is all anti-aging by the way okay this is for women over 50 except this one okay so i use this as my anti-aging toner uh, this is dr rachelle i use the the green one for the night and um, it was not planned actually i bought the green one let me pause and i'll show you so i had bought this from oman i think if you have watched my previous vlogs you'll see that i did i have been using this so when I came back here to the U.S., by the way, I haven't introduced that. I know some people don't know. I will get to that later. Uh, when I came back to the U.S. and I wanted to continue this, but I couldn't find the same aloe vera and I found this with vitamin C. So what I'm doing right now is I'm doing the aloe vera for the night and I'm using the vitamin C for the day. Okay, so then I go with my toner. And um, yeah, you know, when you're getting old, I've, I really haven't been into these things, you know, but uh, as you grow older, like I say, especially as over 50, you have to take care of yourself. But I do believe that eating well, drinking a lot of water, a lot of fruits, vegetables helps a lot more than the creams. The creams do help in just enhancing, you know, whatever that you're doing because um you know i don't buy expensive stuff i don't believe in that so i'm just buying regular stuff and once i'm done with this i'll probably go back to the store-bought um, uh, drugstore they say they call it drugstore not all these designer things okay and then after that i use the serum uh, just a few drops so i do the same routine at night as well but I use the green one, which is actually running out. And the green one has, um, it has, uh, it has the under eye. You know, for me, I always have these dark circles that are not so great. So, yes, I'm back in U.S. I'm back in U.S. Uh, a lot has happened, but like I said, alhamdulillah. And uh, then I go with this. So now I've been, I really haven't been uh, consistent as far as the creams, moisturizing creams go. Because I find things, honestly, things are so expensive. So I googled to find out what are the top 10 uh, face creams or, you know, for my age. <laughs> and uh, I found this was the number one, Pons. I used to use this when I was a teenager. You know ponds cold cream and i'm like hmm and i read the reviews yes they're, they're pretty good i mean this is like what 13 dollars i mean come on such a big jar so i've started using this and um i'm not really looking for a difference to see like okay maybe my you know, and these lines over here uh if they have gone i don't know so but i'm using it because it moisturizes my face like when I go to sleep and I wake up in the morning this one is like my face is nice and moist it's not oily <laughs> I'm using moist as if it's food okay my face is not oily at all and it's not dry so I really love this and I can go out like this without any makeup maybe just an eyeliner and uh, yeah, I, I usually use eyeliner all the time. But lately, my eyeliner is finished. And the one that I have, it's like, it smudges. So I have to get another one. I just haven't had the time to go and get one. So, so yeah. So I'm good just like this for the whole day till night. I'm good. So now I'm going to go downstairs and I'm going to... I'm gonna be packing a lot of plates, silverwares and stuff like that, just keeping them away. Uh, Cause um, I don't have enough room in the kitchen to be keeping all those things. So I'll take you there with me, all right? So this is our Eid mess. All these need to be 
packed in the box. These are very old. My sister-in-law gave them to me. And uh, so they need to go in the box. Or maybe I'll keep them on the table because I really don't have room. Uh, these uh, are going to go in the cabinet, but not too far. So whenever I have guests, you know, I barely have guests. And these need to be packed back in the boxes. These will go in the storeroom for now. Uh, we were using these uh, during the new year. I had it with this, like that. So now I'm changing. <laughs> uh, these ones are very, very old plates that I gave them to a friend when I left. And when I came back, she gave them back to me. So these ones also need to be packed and kept away because, like, I don't have enough room in the kitchen. And besides, I don't want to keep the, um, what do you call, the, I don't want to keep the, uh, the cabinets too heavy. And uh, for the table, uh, this is what we had for aid. Okay, let me turn the table. Yeah, this is what we had for aid. And you see this cloth? This is the color it's supposed to be, what's showing in the camera. And this is the same color exactly what showed in Amazon. But when I bought it, but when I put it here without the camera, the light, it, it's brown. It's the same color as the table. So these ones, uh, we use them for Eid. We're going to keep them for now until next Eid. Then maybe I'll change the color. Uh, I just love to use different colors. I don't keep many plates. So I have white, green, and black. And I play with the same colors just, you know, here and there. Yeah, so, yeah, this will remain the way it is. So I bought these from Oman. They're really cool. It's got this stand, and you might wonder why. But basically, this is to... To keep it like that. When you're serving, so that way people don't have to keep removing this back and forth. And I think it was really cool. So I'm going to repack this. So there's a screw here. So while I'm doing this, I just wanted to keep you updated. Ah, it's it's been a long time. I think from my last vlog was sometime in August or September when I was getting ready to open the cafe. I was all excited. But before that, I have to tell you this, uh, Oman is such a beautiful place. The people are so beautiful when you meet them in one-on-one -on -one as individual, you know, warm people, kind-hearted people, honest people. But when it comes to work, they are different people. Now, the people who come to work in Oman also get into that culture. You know, the I don't care attitude. I'm not saying all, but the ones that I have come across, it was really frustrating. So as I was getting ready to open the cafe and um, we kept uh, postponing the date and uh, I got a barista, we got the coffee machine, we redesigned the shop. And uh, as I was getting close, I think I had shown you guys and um, I was asking the barista to check the coffee machine, which I purchased it from Dubai. And uh, he said, yeah, everything is okay, which he actually didn't open it. But later on, I realized uh, he didn't know how to make coffee. He just thought he could pull a fast one on me. Or he just didn't want to. Okay, I mean, he could have learned. I learned it, you know. At my desperate hours, I actually went on YouTube and I figured out how to make a coffee, how to use the machine. So I just figured out that he was not interested. So on the day that we were opening and uh, he's like, oh, the machine is not working. I'm like, what do you mean it's not working? He's like, no, it's not working. It doesn't do this. It doesn't do that. But he would come to the shop, sit there, make himself a cup of espresso. But when the customers come in, he'll say the coffee machine doesn't work. So here I am. I'm trying to figure out what's wrong, calling people to arrange. So that killed my whole mood, killed the whole thing. And uh, I couldn't, uh, you know, when we opened we had a lot of people and the whole idea was to sell coffee with whatever pastries that I was selling. And he saw me, I was advertising, but I didn't go big on marketing and advertising because again, I couldn't serve coffee. And, um, you know, it was one thing after the other, you know, he would come late or he would not come to work at all, or he would disappear. Then one day I just told him, you know what, just go home. Don't bother coming back. 
so I looked for somebody else I got a very nice guy who was uh, referred to me by someone a Nigerian guy very honest hard-working gentleman uh, but we had issues with his permit because his former boss didn't want to release him uh, eventually uh, I mean then he introduced me to a lady to come to work with me while we were waiting for him because we didn't know how long but then he came to me I mean he was released and uh, so we started working we started uh, reorganizing and the lady was hard working I'm still in touch with them you know they're my people I just love them to death I just hate that things didn't work out the way we planned so you know we were reorganizing you know doing menus planning to go with this big promo and um, yeah by the way now i'm doing that nice okay <laughs> i'm gonna take a break i have to tell you this okay so i have a set of uh, cutlery that i keep separate i have a lot of these a friend uh, a friend of mine gave me this then another friend gave me this and you know sometimes when you have guests and you don't have matching forks and knives so i keep this separately you know uh, some friends gave me um, uh, plates and a lot of things that to start with okay because I had to start all over again okay so yeah so um, as I was getting ready to start again with a shop with a cafe and my daughter was sick uh, back here in the US you know my oldest daughter had come to the US to finish high school and then you know start uh, getting ready for college so I had to come back because she was not well she had a lot of uh, anxiety and depression you know she's never lived alone from me away from me since she was a child and while being in Oman she was behind in her class and she she's a perfectionist and she you know she's an A student she's always been an A student so you know with all that pressure looking for college and uh, it was just too much on her so yeah so we came back now these boxes are done now as you can see this one is uh, it's got this because it was packed uh, to stay in the storage you know my sister-in-law had packed it to stay in the storage so that's why it has all the bubbles so now i'm just waiting for the men to come and help me to, uh, to lift it and put it on right on top because i can't reach okay yeah so my daughter fell sick in february end of february and uh, the same night we took a flight and uh, we came back to to texas uh, it was hard it was difficult uh, for all of us you know for me i've never faced something like that in my life or heard anybody but of course when i started talking to people i realized everyone said oh even my daughter did this even my daughter did that it it uh, it was comforting you know because you felt like as a parent you haven't done your job you know like you know so yeah so we stayed here and um a um, lot of uh, support from friends i'm trying to tell you the story while i'm also trying wanting to tell you something what's happening on the table there <laughs> so okay now this is our main dining table and uh, you might be thinking that i'm all bougie that i like to decorate yes i love to decorate but the reason why i also like to keep my plates is because those candles are beautiful i got them from walmart uh it's a storage for me because i don't have enough room in the kitchen the room is enough but i have too many plates so i keep them like that so that way you know i have a place to store now this is the breakfast table here and um yeah so friends help me and uh, kids got situated they're back in school they've got new friends and uh, they miss their friends in oman you know they miss the family uh, although we really didn't get interact much with family because we were there throughout uh, the covid time so there was you know constant lockdown so we really didn't have uh, much time with the family but uh, whatever we had they still appreciate that and they miss that so for a breakfast table i like to use this set of uh, plates it's uh, four each so i bought two colors and uh, i like the bowls because uh, they're big so the kids use them for breakfast cereal either hot or cold and you know for the eggs and toast and whatever so we like to use this one in the main dining area i like to use that for dinner because it's away from the television so now i'm getting ready to clean this area there is there wasn't much you know that's thank god the kids are grown up now 
but they always leave glasses and cups everywhere in the house and you see the balloons that my sister-in-law's work i don't have patience for balloons and uh, i love this house it's a uh, it's a beautiful home plenty of light you know it keeps your spirit uh, positive you know you have that positive energy you know when you wake up in the morning and i wanted to have a beige uh, sofa set i didn't like much the gray but i can always accessorize it i did have the orange for thanksgiving you know orange cushions and um, green at some point and now i'm using this and by the way adila keeps taking them she's like mommy i need to decorate my room because she changes her room every now and then but i hate the carpet i hate the rug that's my husband's choice i hate it but um, <laughs> well he's paying for it so i have no choice at this point uh, so anyway so just cleaning up this area i didn't have to do any vacuuming or anything and um this is the main area where we sit. Uh, the other area, is a, which is supposed to be the living room, that's the one where I used to keep the food to entertain. We have not uh, done anything with that place. And uh, so now I'm just gonna get uh, these lights off. We have a lot of lights. I got these from Oman and um, I had so many because I had some for the house and I had some for the shop. And uh, some of them do not have Ramadan, but uh, we can use them any time of the year and my kids love decorating so we're just going to take them from here too and uh, i love this candle i got it from walmart coffee and sarcasm this is so beautiful but it was on sale actually i just bought it for the sake of buying it and now they don't have it anymore so over here we got a lot of junk that needs to go um uh, these things have been here since fall you know the oranges that were dehydrated but they smell good that's why I like to keep them I don't know how many of oranges Alicia used you know to just uh, you know she dehydrated them in the oven with some cinnamon they smell amazing but it's time they go all right I need this place clean because uh, I end up having a lot of junk the pencils the phones my reading glasses everything goes here so now that place is done I've got my books back in place, all my diet books, you guys. And now the cake stand, I usually keep them here also because of storage and I like to keep, if there's anything, then I just keep it there. And it's easy for the kids to come and eat, that's a, eat cake, leftover. And uh, so I've got all my plant and my lady there. And then this side, I've got another cake stand. So we've got our Mexican cookies there. Same way, just for decoration and storage as well and uh, now it's this side of the kitchen that needs to be done the coffee area is a mess i just need to refill and get everything out you know after i eat for the last two days i really haven't done anything the stove needs to be cleaned you know and uh, these ones i'm going to boil them with cinnamon so we can have some beautiful smell in the house you know they're too dry to be eaten they've been sitting in the kitchen for i don't know how long and uh, you know all these bottles the little things all need to go and uh, just cleaning up you know mm. and uh yeah so not too many dishes and my glass is broken i got this from oman i got 12 of them so i don't know if i can replace much dishes not much dishes and then just need to clear this area and i'm ready to make dinner so i've been asked to make uh, what is this called? Uh, Cajun pasta. My kids have been dying to have Cajun pasta since the last few days of Ramadan. But I forgot. So uh, here I've got my green beans. These are frozen green beans and I'm just going to add uh, some garlic and olive oil. Just simple. And then I've got my water ready here to make pasta. and uh, just adding some black pepper and some salt and the green beans and that's it i've got it on medium heat and the pasta by the way did not have any salt i thought that i forgot to add salt but when i look at the video now i realize yes i did add salt twice uh, but then uh, my husband uh, doesn't like salt you know because of pressure so i try to be mindful so i forgot about the cajun pasta so i had already cut the chicken into cubes it was supposed to be cooked you know 
as a chicken breast um, i do have this recipe i would link it in the description box below just in case you have not seen it so i just sauteed the chicken for a couple of minutes until it's well cooked on medium high heat and then now i'm just adding some extra olive oil and that was my last onion i didn't have any onions basically after aid i did not feel like going out anywhere so i thought i had things in the house but i didn't so i'm just gonna saute the onions and uh, a little bit of fresh ginger and garlic paste and by the way i did marinate the chicken with uh, ginger garlic uh, onion powder cumin powder paprika and um, uh, oregano so those are the same spices that i'm using over here okay so i'm just gonna saute that for a couple of minutes and then i'm just gonna add my tomatoes yeah so i i what i'm planning to do basically is to shift all my english uh, recipes onto here okay and then i decided to add some mushrooms which is now not cajun pasta at all but when they asked me last night i said it was cajun pasta so you know they couldn't tell that there was mushrooms in there just to add extra flavors and nutrition whatever i can put in there then i'm just gonna add the chicken again i'm just gonna let it cook for a minute or so and then uh, the pasta i was supposed to add the cream first and then the pasta but uh, it works sometimes it doesn't and uh, just gonna mix this well then I just added the heavy cream and you want to make sure that the heavy cream is not cold so you want to take it out from the fridge uh, maybe 10 minutes before you add it into the pasta into the hot pasta and that's it and um, we're just gonna cook this for a minute or so and uh, of course I did add more spices and I wanted to finish the cream also because it was just a little left. And these creams, they go bad very fast. So, And by the way, thank you for the few people who keep asking me whenever I post the videos, they ask me, why don't you come back to the vlogs? Why don't you come back to the vlogs? Now I have decided to come back to the vlogs. Okay, so inshallah, once a week or twice a week. So I'm doing my Mondays and then I'll show you how my Tuesdays goes and then my Wednesdays goes and Thursdays goes and like that. But I will post once a week. Okay, so I'm just adding extra seasoning there. Because I couldn't taste and then because I, I, I was fasting, I'm still fasting. But even at dinner when I tried, uh, this thing was so bland. Even my children were like, mommy, what's going on? You know, they know their food. So anyways, and uh, now... We are ready to serve. So this is a light dinner that we have it. They had it at six o'clock. And then now uh, we have fruits after that. And then we watch TV. Or if it's a Quran day, then they do their Quran. And, you know, spend some time together. And by eight o'clock, everybody goes to their room. And God alone knows what time they sleep. I can not control that. It's too much on me. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> So dinner is ready. It is six o'clock and this is our pasta and we've got some green beans, some leftover veggies, some salad, some fruits. I guess that's it for today and I hope you enjoy spending a day with me. It's not much, but believe me, I will involve you as much as I can. I will try though. And uh, it's goodbye for today and I will see you all in my next video. Bye bye.